My mom is from Bustamante, Nuevo León. Uh, the state of Nuevo León is a small state um, in northern Mexico. My mom moved here to the United States to Dallas when she was 19. She knew one skill and it was how to clean and she knew she could do it well. So she went knocking door to door, found um, nothing, sat on the curb and was kind of crying and this uh, honorary southern woman saw her and pulled up and my mom really didn't speak English so she just told her she was trying to look, looking for a job and she, had, she couldn't find one. She said, oh, you want to you want to clean my house? Okay. I'll, I have a room. Come stay with me. And so she did. And uh, she little by little starting, started to cook for her. And Mrs. Collins and her husband had a dinner party one night with a bunch of their southern friends. And uh, she, Mrs. Collins wanted fried chicken. My mom, you know, there's not much fried chicken in Mexican cuisine, so she tried and uh, failed miserably, and she remembers that uh, the Mrs. Collins was going to bite into a drumstick and it was raw. Threw it at my mom, <laughs> and my mom ran out of the room crying, and she was determined to, one, learn how to cook, and two, learn how to, uh, you know, say I'm sorry in English and learn how to speak English. So she learned how to do both by watching Julia Childs and uh, Sesame Street. And her favorite quote was always the Sesame Street grocery list. And it was a stick of butter, a loaf of bread, a carton of milk, and a dozen eggs. And says it still to this day. I remember um, when I told her that I wanted to go into cooking, she became really upset and looked at it, kind of looked down upon it and said, you know, you're not one of those Mexican girls who's going to go into these people's homes and cook for them like I did. You're going to be better and you're going to do something bigger. Um, if I were to work in a kitchen in Mexico, I would never have the opportunities that I do here. I'd be, you know, rolling out their doughs or making pastries or I, I thank my mom because of it. I, I had the best, some of the best French food, you know, because she learned how to make that at a young age and taught me how and Growing up in the kitchen next to her, it was really important for her to to have that for me. And, and when she finally agreed to let me do it, um, I think she's now the proudest mom ever. Mrs. Collins died, um, I can't remember the year, but she left my mom everything um, and left her the house. And we all moved in and uh, I, I lived in Highland Park until, the, until like 1995. And, you know, I had a really good upbringing because of it.